backwards. Yeah, ain't you supposed to be down up here and I'm supposed to be down there? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, well, I decided to put the windmill that we had up there down here to power the farm because I forgot this thing sucks power like crazy. Um, it takes it like all the time, even if it don't need it. Or at least it used to. They've been doing a lot of work on forestry, so it may not do it anymore. But there's no power meter to tell you how much it has, so... Anyways, look at the gearbox. Where? Oh, the gearbox now has... I See, I've never had Walia with Forestry Farm and, and noticed that it actually had one of them. So, that's cool. I didn't know it had it. Well... We're using a windmill anyways. Um, we still haven't got the other one set up to um, test out the uh, other crops yet. We need to get that done. But we got to get more tin. And because some rude jerk only put tin real sparsely spread out. I don't know who that rude jerk would be. It takes a lot of mining to find the tin we need. Plus, we have to go. What we, is it like? Well, you have to go like 15, 20 chunks at least. That direction, that direction, that direction, whatever. To actually get to it because we went exploring before I figured out that we needed tin. Um, what are you working on today? Um, this thing. This thing. You're working on a hole. Damn it. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> hey, there's a pipe. Yes, this is. Give me the hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. You know that's going to keep falling probably, right? Put it right here. Yeah, it's all the way down. You should have put it right there. So what are you bringing up here? Water and those things. And those things. You can look at it and see what it has. Creosote. So we're bringing the boilers up here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I put in a pipe, if you didn't notice, out here on top of the water pipe is an item pipe that's going to automatically bring in the seeds and the wheat i decided just to use wheat because it's creating plenty of seeds since we're not using the crop sticks and um it's uh it. kind of slow but it's doing its job we've got full bio diesel in the diesel itself what do you want? Somehow give me power. Um, this thing or something. I don't care. I just need power in this. Well, it needs to be moved because it's too close to the power outlets. Oh, if you just put one here, you can go. I've done it before. From the front? No, just put one right here. From right here? No, wire it to it. But this is input on top. Just do it. All right. And not getting power because that's input. Getting power now because you changed it to output, but I don't care. I got power. I <sighs> want. What a cheater! <laughs> just need some power. You just needed to move the freaking block away from it, yeah, but. All right, while he's being a dork, we're going to upgrade today to LV, or HV, if we can get him out of our table. Get out of my table, boy. All right, so we need aluminum ingots, and we need hardened clay. Do we have any clay? Uh, maybe. We have two clay balls. Okay, we do have clay blocks I already made up. Okay. Good. Uh, we can make some clay. 
Also going to need this cactus, but that's for later. Um, are we ever going to make an oven? Oven of what? A uh, railcraft oven. So we can stop using these furnaces and actually use uh, steam or RF. I've never actually made one. I don't know if it uses RF or steam or what. Hmm. But there's an actual oven. It's a multi-block for a railcraft. Okay, the other thing that needs to be done... Pipe's done. Okay, you want to move the uh, stuff up there? Where am I moving? Um, basically, just this liquid boiler, which for some reason is on and full. Why is it on and full? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what's powering or what's giving it the fuel. I had this thing completely cooled off and emptied, so... I didn't mess with it. I don't know what the hell it does. Did you run the pipe? You ran the pipe in the ceiling, didn't you? Yeah, it's right up there. So how did you get creosote in it? I didn't. You did! It's full! Well, it's hooked to it as a water pipe. Well, somehow you managed to get creosote in it. I didn't do it. You did it. I didn't. It's in the ceiling. Yeah, this is a blame junior moment instead of a blame bear moment. So... You need to take that... We need that upstairs. You're just going to have to waste your creosote. It's not like we ain't got a million tons of it around here. We need that upstairs, and we need the engine upstairs. And I'm going back to making my thing. Now the engine is what engine? The engine right there beside it. Uh, commercial steam engine? Yeah. Okay, so we need to make some of these things. Some of these things. Some of these things. Very scientific. Yeah. Um, we have to make connectors. Because HV works different than uh, MV and LV. You cannot connect anything. Hey, hey. Mm. Mike, shoulder. I didn't touch Trust me, you touched it. Uh, it's running right now. So I need to get hooked to that steam engine and hooked to this wire that's going to that thing. Yeah, hook um, LV up to it because you do not need MV. I had MV hooked to it for see if it would take more power out of it, but it doesn't need it. Okay, so is this the only capacitor it's going to hook to, or do you only get this MV capacitor back in the mix? Um, for right now, just hook it to the LV for now, I guess. I really didn't want it on at the moment. I wanted to get this done first. You told me to take it up, so I took it up and I put it where I need Well, it's going to take it a minute to actually... Uh, heat up actually um we need to make a steel boiler so instead of using low pressure we're using high pressure will that take power will what take power that work. yeah that'll work okay. or no it won't because it's got to be on top I don't get a ton like that thing. Alright. Um, right. We need a high voltage wire, which is steel, aluminum, and a stick. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this thing to go the right way. Uh, steel. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna need one for the capacitor too, ain't I? Yep. Uh, steel. Let's just do five. One, two, two, four, five. Oh, they gotta be the other way. Kiss my grits. Okay. There's the HV. And that goes around a iron ingot. Wait a minute, that's a lead block. I don't need. Huh, I don't need a coil for that. Okay. I need a coil for that, which needs an iron ingot. So I just need one. And yeah, I'm gonna need your help up here. Yeah, you need help, alright. It's filling with steam, but not the steam engine. I don't know how to get the steam engine to turn. You need to put um, a lever on it before it's actually going to do anything. It's got to be powered by redstone to actually work. Okay, well, how do I get it to go to the wire? You don't. You put the wire on top. Okay. okay. Unfortunately, Railcraft does not understand the whole smack an engine to make it turn concept um start dead yeah give me a minute I can I can maneuver around it I think alright so we need a block of lead we need three more steel, two aluminum, two treated wood, and a block of redstone. Uh, let's see. Steel across the top. Aluminum there. Do we got any treated wood left? Uh, there. Uh, we got one treated wood left in there. Um, we got power. Oh, we don't have wood. Give me some wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Got that all figured out up there. Don't pick him now. It's annoying. Well, if Railcraft would understand what turning an engine means, it wouldn't be so annoying, but apparently they don't understand the concept of smack it with a wrench and make it turn. It'll always face up or to the direction that something can be powered from it. That much power line. Okay. Again, power down here now from it. All right. Now I'm going up top. Um, oh, crap. You little prick, get out of here. Open the daggone door and there's a bub sitting outside it waiting to kick my butt. And this weekend you're going to make this road, right? Oh, boy. Hopping up this hill is getting to be annoying. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add a connector to our diesel right there for HV and we're gonna put our HV capacitor is this a three wide is this a two by two hole three by three. okay so this block is open beside the water pipe right no it ain't okay so I need to come down like here. So 
put that there. We're going to put the HV on top of there. Um, we're going to connect broke. that to that. Get out of here. Hold on, I'm trying to do something. What'd you mess up now? Just fall down the hole. I can't fall down the hole. There's no opening to the hole. Yeah, there is. I'm coming. What'd you break? What? It's not got power. <laughs> you know why it ain't got power? Nope. Um, because your LV is out of power. I don't see LV out of power. It's taking it from the steam engine. Um, because you don't have anything hooked to this MV. But it's okay. Look, it goes into here. Okay. It wires back and it plugs right into the crusher. Do you know how little power? That steam engine puts out, and how much power the crusher actually takes. Nope. Look at how slow that crusher is going up. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why we're hooking up what I'm hooking up right now. So we can have a lot more power down here. Um, I got to, I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do this. Can you come here for a second? Standing right here. Oh, hi. Can you break, can you nerd pull your butt up there and break that block out and hook that and that to the bottom of it and switch it over to output the HV? Um, not really. Why are you throwing me a bunch of stuff? I ain't got any inventory. Where are you going? You're supposed to be going up. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have cobblestone on me. I could give you to do it. What am I doing? Break out the block right above your head. Switch it to output. Bottom. Bottom. Are you shifting? No. There we go. Okay. Now hook the wire to it and get your butt back down here. Okay. Now, this is where this is a little tricky. This has to be under something. You cannot place this on the wall. It has to go under something, and I do not want it under an LV connector. Um, so you're going to have to put, like, a block out here on the side. There's actually um, hangers that we could use, but we haven't gotten them made. So just put a block, like... Somehow we got to get around this corner, daggone it. It's not called a hanger. It's a wall mount, I think is what it's called. Um, I don't want to cross that wire because that'll look really stupid. How are we getting around this corner? Some treated wood and a treated wood fence. Actually, what we could do here, let's do this instead. Move that torch. Hook your wire to this. You got to do it like in the middle, not to the connector. Not to the connector, to the middle. I'm looking at the connector. I'm looking the middle the of the block, not between the. There you go. All right. Now, your MV, we're going to move. Because I don't want all this stuff sitting out here. Give me this. So now we need 
the take that for a minute because for some reason my inventory is full you got the MV capacitor mm -hmm. all right put it like here should work right right there okay now you got an MV capacitor thingy I got one okay switch this so it's input here on this move your butt over there you go now we'll connect this to this and now we need output on this side scoot your butt over to here and can you break the other transformer and bring it up here mm -hmm. just bring it up and sit it like you might want to break this block out and put it down in that block all right and now I will connect this to this and then the LV will go out of here and up to here why is this a medium voltage or a slow voltage you cannot attach this wire here. Why can I not attach this, this wire This is here? LV wire, ain't it? I'm trying to connect LV wire. I'm trying to connect an MV and a... Okay, now it let it go. Okay. So basically what we have running here is you have a dedicated LV coming down from the steam engine. Yep. And I have a high voltage being transformed down to low voltage through a series of right, things here. Me, this does not look right. All right, what's your problem? Right, so what's coming in here? We have HV coming down from there and LV coming down here. Ain't this low voltage wire? No, that's medium voltage wire. What thing is that one? It's a little bit f lighter in color. Not much, but a little bit. It gets stored in here, and then out to here. And... Okay, he says it looks the same to me, but okay. Uh, basically, the steam engine is just going to be kind of like a, a bypass system. It's going to be a... It's going to sit there and run just to waste off the creosote that we have that we don't need. It's going to be kind of a backup system for when the LV isn't going. We probably should actually dedicate that LV transformer or put in an, a dedicated LV transformer. Yeah, this thing is creating way too much steam we got to get a uh oh we do have high pressure on this yeah that's going to be way too much for that commercial we got to make an industrial um yeah we definitely got to get that done but now we can turn this on and now if you go and look at the pressure is doing just fine and see, the HV is just packing full of power right now. So you need to really do something with this. Because it can't get the power down as quick as what it can fill. So much random crap in here. What are you complaining about now? A box for the question. There's just thousands of random crap in there. No, there's not random thousands of crap. There's a stack less than nine of every different ore we do it's not packed full of random crap yes, it is. okay do you see that there's too much in here because you threw a bunch of stuff in and didn't clean it out let's see you take out something in the divisible of nine you throw it in here it will do its thing 
and melt it all down. Yeah, so I'm supposed to have a Oculus and infuse a clone. I don't know what all that stupid crap is. I just exactly. I point. throw it in there and I cook it up. Come it look in the boxes. Full of crap. Yeah. It's full of crap we don't use that for some reason is in this mod pack. Talk to exactly the guy that saying. actually built it because I have there's no use for this crap. Other than making tools out of it that are worse than what we can make with regular tinkers. Now note that he is saying the wood crap exactly what I said it was full of, and he said no. It it's not random crap. It's ores. Damn it! If it had freaking sticks and cobblestone and stuff like that in here, then it would be random crap. It's not random crap. It's ores. You need to make your own separate box for when you come back from mining trips. Not throw the ores in the crusher like I told you to. Because apparently you can't get the stuff out of the box when it's done. Doofy. Smack in the back of the head. Okay, are you really going to just put cobblestone up here? Momentary. And what's, Eat something. what's with the hole? Oh, I was showing you where the pipe was. We'll fix a hole. It's momentary until I get a bunch of random chiseled cobble. Just start slapping them in places again. And I would eat something if somebody would cook something. Is there anything to eat around here? I got plenty of things on me I can eat. There's still apple pie and meaty stew. And I can't eat those. Uh, garden salad. I ain't wasting them on garlic. Garlic, that's what I needed. Do we got any garlic? That's what they want. Oh, for crap's sakes. Are we going to complain some more? I need I need garlic. Let's focus on what we're doing here. We're trying to feed the guy that's about to starve to death. You can't starve to death. I mean, but... Fine, I'm dealing with it. I mean, just a sec. He's like a he's like a freaking squirrel. He sees something random shiny. He's like, oh, shiny. Can't pay attention to what he's doing. Yeah. I'm yeah. right in front of you. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Junior. Today we're going to make a pile of crap again. That I'm not going to be able to eat 90% of what you make. And have no room in my inventory to hold any of it. Hey, I'll get you some garlic, probably. <laughs> Is this enough? I still don't see any garlic in there, though. <laughs> It'll show up eventually. Hopefully. Well, you get to dig through there and find it, because I got, like, two spots in my inventory to hold stuff. <laughs> hey, you actually got an onion in there. Oops. We need them for a lot of different things. Um, crap. I lost my nut block. Yeah, that's going to take a week and a half to find. <laughs> Here, let me give you a new one. Thank you. Oh, good God, you make a mess. <laughs> I seen an onion. Ow. Give me the stupid thing. Why do you keep breaking them without a shovel? Just holding the button. Don't break dirt without a shovel. You get slinky butts. Did you find any garlic yet? Uh, I seen an onion. I don't want no stinking onion. Hey, peanuts. Good, you can make me some peanut butter sandwiches. Alright, 27 of these. Basically, you know what? We're done. We've hooked up the HV. Why are we still recording? Um, no idea. Well, yeah, right, one other reason. What? Welcome to the new and improved 
Junior's Cloth Factory. Oh, you're gonna do cotton now, huh? No. Oh. <laughs> Junior's Textile Mill over here. <laughs> Alright, so we've gotten everything hooked up so we can now run our biodiesel down here or into there and make us power. And we got our steam engine moved up here, but we really got to upgrade it because it's about to turn off because it's way too full on power. Um, we need to put a switch on that servo so it's backwards. So when this is on, that is off. Hmm. And we'll do that next time. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off so it's not turning on every couple seconds. Let that steam engine drop its power. I'm going peanuts. All right. We'll have that ability. I can make us all kinds of good sandwiches out of all the berries and stuff we got. All right. Take it easy, everybody. We'll see you next time. Later.